Young women between the ages of 13 to 18 years old will be working in a new tech space managed by Caesars Army. The virtual world is part of the Alt Space VR platform from Microsoft, which gives participants the ability to create their own avatar and participate fully in the two-day event. CEO of the Digicel Foundation, Penny Gomez, said the goal is to inspire the young women through engagement with industry professionals. We will select 10 teams of five to participate. It will also include a preceding week of activities that will involve social media videos by influential women in ICT. There's what we call a selfie edition. That's a before and after um, ICT or tech device. Really cool stuff. On day two, the girls will be challenged with a hackathon, a main feature of the Girls Power Tech event, which challenges the young women to brainstorm and develop technology-based solutions for social challenges. The topics this year will focus on renewable energy and energy solutions, education and violence against women. Renika Howard, a participant of the 2020 edition, spoke about her experience. But I had so much fun. We had so many amazing speakers, influential speakers such as Wendy Fitzwilliams, Sakani Solomon, the animator. And this just inspired me even more to just go out in that tech field and achieve whatever I want. Another 2020 participant, Danara Sahadio, said being selected as captain of her team gave her hands on experience in leadership management. The fun showed to Trinidad and Tobago that females have much to contribute in the field of technology. There are no barriers or boundaries that can limit the capabilities nor the extent to which females can build our society. Registration for the event will run until June 15, 2021. The forms can be found on the Digicel Foundation's social media pages and their website. The theme for the Girls Power Tech 2021 is the next gen of women. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.